Welcome to Tummy Smacks. Today it's miscellaneous. And uh, let's see what the question is. It's a very interesting question. In the previous video, I have given you some theory. This question is based on that. But I'm going to give you another alternate method for this. Let's see what it is. Let's start. Find the number of ways of expressing 17 as a sum of four positive integers where repetition and counting of order is considered. Repetition and counting of order is considered. Let's see. Find the number of ways of expressing 17 as a sum of four positive integers where repetition and counting of order is considered. You can write consider or allow. Let's see how we are going to do this. I'm going to give you two methods. Method one. I have x, y, uh, you can say P and Q. Like that. Or you can say I have C1, C2, C3, C4. Find the ways of expressing 17 as 4 positive integers. C1 positive, C2 positive, C3 positive, C4 positive. Now if I add all this, I should get 17. How many ways I can do it? Find the number of ways. I hope now problem is clear. Find the number of ways of expressing 17 as a sum of four positive integers where repetition is allowed, repetition is considered and order is also considered. What do you mean by repetition is considered and order is considered? For example, this is one solution. This is one solution. Repetition is there. It is 5 and 5. That's what he means. My repetition is allowed. Repetition is there. What do you mean by order this consider? This and this are different order. This is a different order. So with the same set 5, 5, 4, 3, we have so many orders. That's what he means by saying a repetition and counting of order is considered. I hope you understand. I hope you understand. Now, first is very simple, very easy, very exciting. We love it. We love it. Because yesterday we discussed it. What is that we had been discussing yesterday? What is that we had been discussing yesterday? Let's see. Let's see what is that we have been discussing yesterday. This is. We give 17 apples to Mr. C1, Mr. C2, Mr. C3, Mr. C4 so that each will get a minimum of 1. The number of ways I can distribute 17 apples so, Mr. C1, C2, C3 and C4, what is the answer for this? This only we saw yesterday. So, give away 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 4 apples will go off. Now, already they will have 1 with them. So, 0 won't be there. 0 is not a positive number. So, we are going to solve this. 4 will go off in that. So, it will become 30. So, the number of solutions of this. Where C1, C2, C3, C4 can receive none or more. None or more. That will be the answer for this. So what did I say? Reduce the number of applicants by 1. So that will become 3. Five times if you go to your right. So 14 into 40. 
16, 4, 5, 560. So the answer for this is 560. This is easy. <coughs> this is simple. Yesterday I was discussing this. Now, what is the other one I'm going to teach you? What's the other one I'm going to teach you? Now you got the answer. So whatever method you do, no answer should not change, isn't it? Now before I, before I teach you, let's see what is binomial for any index. Binomial for any index, any index means positive integer means we know what it is. That's the binomial we read always. We have a binomial for a negative index also. For example, let's say 1 minus x, whole power minus 4. Particularly, I'm taking minus 4 because I'm going to use this. But I can have anything here. I can have anything there. Now look here. When it is a negative index, I can't say nc1, nc2 and all that. But it will be n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2. That's what it is now. nc1 means n. nc2 means n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2. But the difference between a positive integer and a negative integer, if it's a positive integer, number of terms are limited. Number of terms are limited. If it is negative integer, it will go to infinity. Or even a fraction we can have, that is also there. So now let's see how we will expand this. 1, then plus n into x minus x plus n. I'm, I'm doing like this to make you understand that the n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2 into minus x whole square. Next, plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 into minus x whole cube like that. Anything could be made easy. All we need to do is practice. Nothing like practice. You practice, you practice, you practice. Like that you will feel. Now, this is. This is. Minus and minus will become plus. 4 is 4c1. Four 4 is 4c1. Four Next, 1. And uh, you have 2 minus. This minus x whole square will be x squared. So, this is 5 into 4. 5 into 4 by 1 into 2, it's 5C2. Into x squared. Look here, this is minus x whole cube. There will be a minus. And here minus, here minus, here minus. So there will be 4 minus which will become plus. And this will be, this is 6, 5 and then 4. So it will be 6C3. 6, 5, 4 by 1 into 2 into x cube like that before. Okay. So this is equal to 1 plus 4c1 into x plus 5c2 into x square plus 6c3 into x cube and so on. This is the expansion of 1 minus x whole power minus 4. I specifically took minus 4 because I am going to use this in this problem. But uh, you have to know how you will expand a binomial when the index is a negative integer. This is how it will go. Now we will see how it will go. Now you have this with you. Now I am going to do the question. Find the number of ways of expressing 17 as a sum of 
four positive integers, isn't it? Where counting of order and all the repetition order is considered. Now, you introduce a variable t. You can introduce even a variable x. The minimum that it can take, it's like, I want to make you understand very well. I'm giving an alternate method. And this is, I don't say it's difficult, but it's not as easy as the previous. But every child should know this. Introduce a variable. <coughs> Any variable. I introduce t. The minimum I can have here is 1. So put 1. Then it can take 2. It can take 3 and so on. Of course you can say the maximum it can take not even 17. Because 1, 1, 1 goes off not even 17. Okay. But I can have it till infinity. Because whatever numbers are not considered there will not participate in that. So this is for one person. Like that there are four persons. So put four. You multiply them. This person will have that. That person will have that. Like that. In this coefficient of coefficient of t power 17 will be our answer. Why is that? I am putting one here because the minimum should be one. Suppose 0 can come here, then you can put 0 also. Now, this will be, take out t outside, it will become t power 4 here because power 4 is there. So, it is 1 plus t plus t square and so on, 4 power 4. Now, this will be equal to, this is equal to, this is equal to. This is equal to t power 4. 1 plus t plus t square and so on is a gp till infinity. Sum of a gp till infinity is a by 1 minus r. a is 1 here and r is t here but it is 4 power 4. So this will be now this will be now t power 4. 1 minus t whole power minus 4. I want coefficient of x power t power 17 in this. I hope you understand why 17 I have this. t power 1 that is t power 2 plus t power 3 t power I need not stop with 17. 17 is uh, not even the maximum there. Uh, 17 will not be the maximum. But still, I can have till infinity. This is for 1, for C1. For 1, Mr. C1. Next, Mr. C2. Like that, there are 4 persons. So, when I multiply this, when th this will be the integer he will have. T1 will be the integer. For example, this is 1 here. When I multiply this, this is 1 here. Next let us say 5. Next let us say 5. And let us say 6. So t here. t power 5 there. t power 5 there. t power 6 there is multiplied. I will be getting t power 17 when I multiply. So the 17 is the sum there. And that will be the one way of having it. So I want coefficient of t power 17 in this. There is t power 4 here. So I want coefficient of t power 13 in this. So how will you get 13 here? How did I teach you now? 1 plus 4C1T plus 4C2 I'm sorry 5C2T square plus 6C3T cube and so on. Now I want T power 17. How will I judge it? See here. This gap is 3, 3. The, the difference is 3, 3. And whatever I have here comes here as an index. So for 17, what it will be? It will be t power 17. And what I have here? 6. C3 t cube. So what you will have here? I think I can even write everything there. If you want, you can even write everything there up to 17. But that is not needed. 
3 means 3 here. So I want 13 here now. So it will be 13 here. T power 13. 13 here. 13 here. So it will be 13 here. What will come over here? Difference of 3, 3, 3. So I have 16. And so on it will go. Again I repeat. I want coefficient of T power 13 in this and not 17. Can you tell me why? Because there is already a t power 4 here. When that is multiplied, it will become t power 17. Now you write this 1. This t power 4 is there. 4c 1t. 5c 2t square and so on. How did I teach you now? Whatever you have here, that will come here and this will be 3 difference. Whatever you have here, that will come here in 3 difference. You want t power 13. So whatever you have here, that will come here in 3 difference. So, what is your answer? 16C, 16C, 13. Factorial 16, factorial 13 and factorial 3. This is. Cancel it. 14 into 15 into 16 by 1 into 2 into 3. 14 into 40 which is 560 which was our previous answer also. It's, this is very important. Any question, every question could be done by the second method. 100% all the questions could be done by the second method. But the first method I taught you, though it's very simple, though it's very easy, though we can go quickly about that, maybe we can do 90% of the questions in that. So 10% of the question will be difficult to handle that because we are able to do that method only if we connect it with identical things. There are questions which could be done by both the methods. There are questions which could be done only by the second and not by the first. So please learn the second approach. Though it is difficult, it is to be learned. Sometimes difficult things you have to give preference and you have to learn it. So work this, practice it. We will meet in the next video with more questions regarding this or something else very interesting. Till then have a happy learning.